Hi, my name is Dave, and today I'm going to show you this beautiful little Takahashi Teagle Sky Patrol 3 mount. And it's a, uh, a charming little thing, and like all things Takahashi, it's top-notch all the way. It's also a bit quirky, like many things Takahashi. It's got certain idiosyncrasies. But uh, this is a tabletop mount. And you can see that it's sitting on a table. It's, it has to be a pretty big table for this to work. So it's quite a big tabletop mount, if you want to call it that. That is one odd thing about it. And the reason for that, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe the reason they did that was because the thing has a very odd center of, uh, of gravity. You can see that it extends way over there. The, the actual center of gravity is right about through here. I just measured it. And it's right about there, at least with this 60 millimeter scope. And you can see that it's uh, oh, it's a couple inches away from the center of the mount. I, I built this little offset plate here to have, help counteract that, but even that is really not enough. And it begins to be a problem of uh, this is going to start to interfere here, and stuff like that. So it's becoming an issue. Anyway, uh, it almost seems sacrilegious to say I'm going to make changes to a Takahashi mount. I'm not actually going to make any changes to a Takahashi mount. They're pretty much perfect the way they are, but this thing could use a little bit of a maybe a supplement. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make this device here serve as an offset 45 so I can raise the thing up. I'll raise the whole mount up and replace this 45. This is a nice 40, it's actually a 40 degree angle here, uh, perfect for my latitude. So I want to uh, remove this and use this instead. Now you're getting, obviously this does not, is not compatible with Takahashi. This is a casting I got at a junkyard somewhere. I have no idea what it was for originally. I machined this off to the nice 40 degree angle and I'm going to do some other things to try and beautify this a little bit. In addition to that, I'd like to put some shorter legs on this thing so it'll actually sit on a table, a really a reasonably sized table. So uh, you can watch and see how this all goes. Okay, here's a couple of close-ups of this piece of raw aluminum. Um, it's a casting for some reason, for some purpose. Anyway, it's pretty ugly. Uh, I think I can beautify it, um, you know, take off some of the sharp edges and round it up a little bit, make it look more appropriate. Okay, I thought I'd show you what I've got uh, with a little bit of work. Uh, as you can see, I've modified this extensively. I've added a little bit to it and I've got the offset I think is just about where I want it to be for this mount. <clears throat> so I think it's pretty functional like that. Uh, I don't like the look at all. I mean, it's not bad, but I would like to, this to look a little bit more Takahashi. Okay, here we have a, a close-up of this part. And you can see that I've uh, machined away uh, a chunk of it and done some work to smooth it out and so forth. I let in a piece of aluminum here. I think I want to try and make that look more like it's actually a piece of the casting. I'm going to remove a little bit of this. Okay, here we have an intermediary step. I've attached this. Basically, the screws are what's holding it. The, this is JB Weld, and it's the Quick Set JB Weld, which I find works great uh, for this job, which is filling and so forth. And I'm just using it to fill this in. I'm going to sand all this off. So now you can see this pseudo casting is, uh, I think it's not too bad. Okay, here you can see I've got it set up on this little tripod. And you can see the color match is not perfect, but the color is quite close. It's a pretty good close match. Probably wouldn't notice it unless I pointed it out to you. Let me show you how this works when you take it off. It comes off just like that. This component. I worked pretty hard to make sure that this looked like a casting. Let me show you a better look at these legs. Let 
The legs are just straight aluminum. I machined these, made those on the lathe, and I had some rubber feet. These are just standard rubber feet from a hardware store. Uh, pretty easy work. So now you can see it with, uh, these are the original Takahashi legs. You can see that I made my legs about roughly half the length. And I think you will notice that the balance point is just fine. As long as I use this the balance point, works just fine with the shorter legs. So it makes it into a much more compact and a truly tabletop mount. Those work exactly the same way the Takahashi. Not quite up to the Takahashi standards, but not bad, not too bad. And here you can see this component compared to that one. I have another crazy idea. The idea is I've made all the other components for that mount. Uh, made this and the legs. The only thing that's missing is this tripod hub, if you want to call it that. I think that's what you would probably call it. Anyway, this tripod hub. I can make something like that. It won't be easy, but I have the tools and it's fun to, as a machinist to take a piece of aluminum like this. That's raw aluminum. And inside that lives something very similar to this. And I think one of the things I would like to do is to change the angle a little bit. This angle here is um, not bad, not bad at all. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the angle a little bit, maybe increase it by 15 or 20 degrees, something like that. So that I'll have a little bit more uh, sort of a splay legged kind of a tripod, uh, much like the older Takahashi tripods, uh, the classic wooden tripods. Anyway, we'll see what we can do. Take that into and turn it into something like that. I'm going to throw away a lot of aluminum. Actually, I'll try and recycle as much of it as I can. Here we have, this is original Takahashi equipment. This is my replacement. You can see it's quite a bit bigger. This is the original Takahashi version of the tripod head, if you want to call it that. Here's my version after I milled and cut and chopped and filed. I have this. Takahashi Sky Patrol 3 mount setup for observing on a tabletop. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but this takes up a pretty good chunk of tabletop to do this. Anyway, you can see how the how the work how the mount works, and it's uh, it's a beautiful little mount, absolutely beautiful. Of course, I'm sure all of you know that. Takahashi, virtually everything they touch is superb. Um, and I have a little FC60 with a an extender on it. Uh, wonderful little setup, a superb little uh, 60 millimeter telescope. Uh, but you can see how kind of funky looking it is. It's the reason the tripod has to be so big is because of the way it's tilted out here. It's cantilevered out quite a ways. So if I was to actually try to use this telescope sitting, it could probably be done in the, the traditional Japanese way of doing things. Uh, they like to look straight through. So using it straight through, you could probably do it like that. Observing things along through the ecliptic uh, could be a little bit tricky, at least with a right angle prism. Well, let's try it with my version. I don't want to say it's an improved version, but let's just call it my version of the, the tripod. Now I have this telescope set up on my modified version of the Takahashi mount. I think you can see that it's considerably lower. It also occupies, a, it's a, got a smaller footprint on the table. Uh, and it functions just as well. I mean, it's a Takahashi mount. How could it function poorly? So anyhow, there's going to be uh, essentially the same utility. It is going to be a bit more convenient for me using it with the right angle diagonal, with a star diagonal. It'll be a bit more convenient for me because I'm, I'm sitting right now. I'm seated at a table, regular standard table. And this is a very convenient position. 
not unlike what you would experience with a Questar, about this roughly the same physical kind of a setup with a Questar. So that's what my modified version looks like. And I hope you enjoyed my little tour of uh, this modified version of a Takahashi tripod. Thank you.